wonder if this area is going to look better than the other ones. It's got some snow particle effects. That's new. This is the Rhyme Age. Rhyme sounds familiar to me for some reason. That's just the mist book. It wasn't hard to find. I guess that's some sort of rudimentary map. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think... I think that island in the pool, when you put 40 in, is this island. Interesting. But what exactly do we do here? That's a great question. Maybe go click on the mist book? Yeah, I can do that. That did something. I think it turned this on. This maybe melts the room or something? There's noise happening, but I'm not sure where. Okay, maybe that door can open now? Oh, look, at the whole thing is... I looked at the book and then it got not frosty in here anymore. Well, it was happening gradually anyway. Oh, was it? I think the longer we wait, the we'll be able to open that door. Right again. I make a habit of that. Look, there's a fog effect. They really did go all out on here. It's all fancy looking. Some sort of a roar effect. Effect. Okay, so this changes the color of the aurora. But why? So we'll Can you leave it at one of those settings? I don't think so. I was wondering if it has some sort of effect outside. Uh. Oh, it's taking you to some sort of room. view of an age inside of the book. Okay, so these crystal shapes are probably important.
Okay. Without the ink, the crystals do not bind onto a particular ink. Huh. It's possible to change the crystals and watch the age change. Well, in reality, we're watching a vast number of distinct. So the. Okay, the lights. So this book is saying how this works. Well, okay. Oh. Is this. This is telling. Uh, this is how to get to Riven, I think. This is a direct segue into the second game. Is Riven just hidden in here and we didn't even know? I guess so. Okay, so we have to. F so we found out about those crystals. But we don't know how to do the color for this puzzle over here yet. I think there's an additional down. I would guess probably not. Maybe there's just something outside that we've missed? Maybe. Because there's a second there's platform over here. It seems like those electrical towers had something to do with it. Yeah. There's something on the first platform? What's the point of the second platform? I have no idea. Are these towers, the lights on, changing colors? Not that I can tell. Okay. What about that furnace looking thing? This thing? Yeah. Two moons up there for some reason. This, this world just must have two moons on it. Do we need to pay closer attention when we pull that lever, I guess? I suppose we do. I don't see anything else here. Okay. 
Can you still go through that door when you've turned that furnace off? I don't know. Looks like... these towers I don't see any visible difference is there any particular order that we have to go in probably I think that's what's going on here But I don't know how we would find that order, is the problem. It's got to be in that book and we've just got to read more carefully or something. Oh. What about, yeah, I was about to say that, that drawer just has nothing in it. That's, what about clicking on that floaty rock thing? I see the, the the rock that's floating. Yeah. Oh, uh, not weird. Okay, classic mess. What do you got? Nothing, but it looks what. Looks like it is. It really doesn't like you changing sometimes. This rotating tower. From the Mist Island. Is right here. Could that mean something? Maybe. Do you think we should go back to Mist? I think we should just give this this book a careful looking over and then okay, and then try again. Before spending any more time with my experiments, I have decided that I must finish construction. I have brought both Cirrus and Akinar this time. The shaft is almost finished, as is the observation post. Both boys prefer it inside where it's warm, protected from the cold. Akinar sits in the observation post for hours, and Cirrus is consumed with the crystals and glimpses of ages that we are able to see. Neither of them shows any real desire to leave. I cannot remember the last time my son spent so much time with me in an age. After much experimenting with the shapes of the crystals, we were able to get a nearly perfect view of an age inside of the book. Cirrus wanted the link immediately, not understanding the link was only visual. Without the ink, the crystals do not bind onto a particular age. Because of this, the crystals have an interesting side effect. It's possible to change the crystals and watch the age change. Well, in reality, we are seeing a vast number of distinct, though similar, ages. The current age defined by the crystals. It appears as though we are changing the original age. Next are the lights. My sons seem much more interested in the lights of the night sky right now. Their only interest in the crystal seems to be whether or not we can view Channelwood or Stone Ship, two ages I have not seen in a long while. It's possible to view the ages, although the time it would take to find the correct combination would be prohibitive. I do not consider my task with the crystals complete, but I'd rather keep Cirrus and Akinar excited in here. So we will move on to the lights. I think it's better to keep Riven from them, and so it is... Just as well that we move on to something else. I'll view that place later. The lights are curious. Although I originally thought the effect to be an organic one, I now believe it to be electromagnetic in origin. I think the effect could be triggered somehow. It's something we'll have to try, and if Cirrus and Akinar have their way, it will be soon. I've never seen either of them so interested in my experiments, and I do not want to deepen, dampen their enthusiasm. 
It seems they've forgotten about the crystals now. I'm not sure either of my sons is expecting the amount of work it would take. It has turned out to be a challenge working above the cold waters where the wind cuts through clothing and skin like a sharp knife. Still, even amidst the dark cold, they are driven to complete the task. It is a side of them that I have not seen before. Another hard day, but we have erected the first of the three towers. I am too tired to write tonight. It has been a week. The second and third towers are up. We only need... We need... We only need... To connect the power. I'm exhausted, as are Sirius and Actinar. However, they have no intention of quitting, and that drives me. The towers are finished, as is the power to each of them. The power will be conducted directly through the saline sea, alleviating the need for stringing wires and enabling us to locate the towers a comfortable distance away. Most of the remaining work can be accomplished inside, for which I am grateful. I'm tired of the cold. I look forward to the warm beaches of Miss Island. Perhaps we all deserve a break. We only spent a day with Catherine before returning. We were here only a minute before we began to experiment with the towers and the electromagnetic discharges. We were able to create an arc for the first time between two towers. Its reflection in the cold waters was magnificent. We are close now. Tomorrow, after adjusting the voltage, we will know just how close. The beauty is awe-inspiring. At our command, multicolored waves of light dance across the dark sky. Brilliant flashes of white lightning that make the display even more amazing precede them. The boys are convinced they will be able to bring their mother here, and though, and though usually refuses to use the books, I am becoming convinced she will come, or at least I hope. And there's the rotating tower again. As for me, I must return to Miss or some other warm place. There is more to be accomplished here, but I long for the sun and will spend some time under its glow before returning. Catherine had come after I told her of my intentions to use the crystals of view Riven. She's not consumed with the setup of the geodes and the crystals and encouraged me daily as I try to uncover the combination that will allow me a view of that age. Sirius and Akonar did not come this time. I must return to Everdunes. I believe that a few of the crystals I left in Everdunes may help me here. Catherine has returned home for now, but she will meet me on Mist Island in three days. I think I'll be ready by then. Does that mean we might have to go back to Mist? The answer might be there. Which age is Everdunes if we actually have access to that area, whatever it is? I don't think we do. Let's just. Yeah, that's not one of the ages we had. What about the crystals? Like, I kept talking about crystals, but I haven't seen any crystals. No hints available for this age. I haven't seen the crystals either. Oh! 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 I figured something out. There's a first for everything. It had to happen one of these days. Well, there's our combination. Red. One. Green. Two. Blue. Three. Four is something different. Yellow. But it's a crystal that wasn't in that book up there. Oh, I see. I didn't notice. So, red. Green, blue, yellow, purple. This is... It is real, the work of your hands, the touch of my dreams. I'm, I've left my dream for you. I'm only yours, Catherine. Lots of useless drawers in this game. Is this where we view the ages? Oh. Okay. This one? Do we change the colors at the lightning towers? Maybe. I need to see what happens if I just put the crystals in the right order here. We've 
gotta. We'll just cycle through eventually. To the end. Looks like it. Okay. If I change one of them, what happens? Okay. So it's like a coordinate. Yeah. Yeah, we need to figure out how that uh, observation area changes the colors of these crystals. Yeah. Let's just get them in the right order, maybe, and let's see. Okay. But now we have a color order. Is there even pur- is there purple in here? I don't see a- Maybe it's supposed to be that blue? Okay, so we got- Wanna just do a red one and then see what it does to those down there? Yeah, I guess so. So that did nothing? Seemingly, yeah. Let's go try the thing. The purple's not on there, so I get... Maybe the thing up there only corresponds to the four we had before? Yeah, I have no idea. That's yellow. Yeah, it looks kind of yellow. Different blue? I do not know. Is there anything different in here? not the right order, do you think? 
don't know, maybe... Hmm. What if you put all of the crystals as that first one that's coloured red and then go over to the lightning tower and ch change it to red? doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay, m this might make you a bit mad, and it seems almost too stupid to be true, but I decided to just look it up. Okay. And it says you, it says you wave the mouse over the crystal to change its color. What? I think so. Click on it, and then wave your mouse over it. Hold on. Looking it up too. Let's see. Yeah, it says click on a crystal to change its shape. Wave your mouse over a crystal to change its color. Like what? <laughs> Maybe click and hold? Yeah, click and hold. How would you ever figure that out? No idea. That This is a There's bad no, puzzle. There is no mechanical indication at all how you would do that. Like, n the game hasn't been preparing you for that, hasn't been trying to teach you that. <laughs> no, it's a bad puzzle. This is the first puzzle where I've legitimately thought that there's no way you would be able to figure that out, just on your own. It's just badly designed. Yeah. This one's not good. I don't feel bad about looking this puzzle up. Neither do I. Not the right purple? Mm, maybe. There, that's a more purple. This is not the right blue? You sure all the shapes are correct?
Waffen. Looks kind of pink to me, that one. Is there... I don't know if there is a more purpley one. Click on the pink one again. Let's see if we can get more of a purple shade. Check the picture again just to make sure we got all the right shapes. Yeah. Let's gonna try this other different tower. Okay, so this V sign is that. Okay, so this is the green is the one with the flat top. The blue is the crown looking one. I got a picture on my phone now anyway, so we can just okay. choose the right ones. See, technology, man. This is what I'm saying. Fuck pens. Yep, pens that's right. Pens are still great. These look like all the correct shapes now. Clearly not the correct color. Sucks. Even looking it, it up. Certainly does. I have a feeling that lost pink one isn't quite correct. Looks like we've got it. I don't get it. Is there something about the tower that we're missing? No, it just says use the sketch as the guide. Click on the crystal to change its shape. Wave your mouse over the crystal to change its color. Once you have the correct configuration, press the red button. And the display will change 
show a scene from Riven, and then that's it. See what we got wrong. Is it because I turn? It can't be because I turned the furnace off, right? That'd be stupid. No, it's not that. The one in the picture is definitely this light. There, there we go. That's not purple. That's dark blue. Game. There's literally no indication that that puzzle has been finished. Just that picture. Congratulations. That's Riven. I'm real mad right now. I got mad at video games. Yeah. Uh. So what have we learned? Well. We did it, guys. We beat Real Mist. This puzzle sucked. Mist, you ruined it. Maybe we should just cut that. Just cut this whole bit and just say... Mist went back to its home planet. Uh, if you play Real Mist, don't bother with the extra age, because it's garbage. Listen to my great narration of that lore book and then leave it at that. Maybe. That's it. That's missed. Uh, let's go check out those alternate endings real quick.